In Cyberpunk 2077, sometimes the best outcome for a mission requires you to go against the quest giver's expectations. In the case of the side mission, Violence, you must lie to Lizzie in order to achieve the best ending. This side mission is unlocked after completing Life During Wartime and Search and Destroy. You will receive a text message from an unknown person who needs your help with something. They will ask you to meet them at the Notel Motel. Started to think you wouldn't show. Shouldn't have, to be honest. Why not? Normally only work with fixers. Clients that avoid them tend to be bad news. I just care about my privacy. Huh. And why is that, if I might ask? This is why. Fuck me. It's you. It's me, Lizzie Wizzy. Sit, please. Let's talk. Okay, so what's this about? I think you can guess. I'm in trouble. Mm-hmm. And what kind? <sighs> Good question. Been a rough year. Creative block. Can't even say the last time I made anything worth listening to. And to make things worse, I fell in love. It's not the worst thing in the world. It is to me. I have something to say. And that? It's a distraction. I need to focus on my art. So, we talking a man, a woman? Oh shit, these hands. Sometimes it seems like I just brush something and sparks fly. <sighs> anyway, a man. His name's Liam. Liam Northam. Been together a few months, but I think he's cheating on me. Okay. Why the suspicion? Uh, it's so cliched, it's embarrassing. Whispered phone calls in the bathroom, strange receipts, secret meetings in the middle of the night. Any specific event come to mind? <laughs> My mind... That's... That's a touchy subject. Why? Don't know each other well enough for that, V. You talk to him at all? Tell him to his face? <laughs> You're adorable. Imagine this. We're never alone. Not really. Always surrounded by assistants, PR reps, makeup artists. I stop smiling at him for one millisecond, it'll be all over every scream sheet in this town. Understood. No, you don't understand. Not until you've lived it. Millions of eyes trained on you constantly. It can be beautiful and terrifying. Liam Northam. No, don't know him. Tell me about him. Forty-ish, sensitive, guy who never wanted for anything. You know the type. Heard they exist. How'd you meet? <sighs> He's my manager. I know. I know how it sounds. I never meant to. He's not even my type, but... But? Your body can be chrome, but the heart never changes. It wants what it wants. So what's my role here? What do you want? Proof. And then I'll end things. For good. Liam goes to Riot all the time. Think he meets someone there. I want to know who. You'll find out for me? Can count on me. Perfect. Remember, I want specifics. Details. Recordings or pics if you can. Sure. Keep it in mind. Good. Now go. After speaking with Lizzie, head to Riot, the club where Liam often visits, to begin your investigation. Where you going? Club's closed. I'm looking for a guy. Name's Liam. Liam Northam. You know where I could find him? No, you can fuck off, Merc. I ain't talking. 
Oh, so you know Liam. You do time together? Share a bunk? Smoke blunts in the back stairs? No. Of course not. He's a rich Gannick fuck. Typical suit. Doesn't even see peeps like you or me. Or if he does, it's just a spit on us. So why are you taking his side? Why make this harder for me? Cause it's my job. What they fucking pay me to do. Pay you to keep the peace. And I'm an easy peace-loving chum. In and out. Nobody will even see me. And well, it's important. Check the VIP room. Usually sits in there. Champagne? Nice surprise. Uh, consider it a token of my gratitude. I know you don't often agree to use the relic, but, well, you don't usually make an engram of a living person either. Oh, come on. Arasaka's taken a keen interest in Lizzie's career. Be a shame if it ended prematurely. A backup copy seems to be the most sensible solution. About that. Once you made the backup, can you tweak it to remove undesirable traits? Because, Lizzie, ever since her conversion, she... she hasn't been herself. I'm afraid that's impossible. Engrams saved in the Secure Your Soul program cannot be edited. But how significant would these edits be? Significant? Sometimes... sometimes I don't even recognize her. Other times... Uh, ne never mind. Let's have a drink. To our partnership. Oh, fuck. You heard what I just heard, right? Relic. Not exactly. They wiped you. Here, they just want to make a backup. A backup? V, we're talking about a person. Not your vacay snaps. Guy didn't even ask. He's just going behind her back. He's got no right to do it. Nobody has that right. Especially without her knowing. <sighs> Shit. How do I even tell her? Don't have to. Camera in there. Where there's a cam, there's footage. Instead of calling Lizzie and telling her about Liam's plans to copy her consciousness, you should take the elevator down to the VIP room where Liam is talking to the lady about using the Arasaka Soul Killer program. Hey, what the hell are you doing here? Oh, isn't it obvious, Liam? I'm listening in on you two. Look, I don't know who you are, but I can assure you, you'll regret this. Risk of regret must be why they're paying me. Huh? Who sent you? Tell me, now! Wouldn't you like to know? We'll chill. All in good time. I'll tell whoever needs to be told about you two lovebirds. Expect things to heat up. Hey, hey, wait, wait one fucking second. Listen, I'll, I'll, I'll pay you, okay? Whatever you want, just... Forget everything you heard, all right? Sure, maybe I'll say yes. But first, I want to hear your why. Liam, no, Arasaka was very clear. Fuck Arasaka. I'm afraid for her. Lizzie, she wanted to go full conversion, right? Change her whole body to chrome. She did it, but something went wrong. At first it was just little memory problems, concentration, but now she's changed. We all change, Liam. All the time. Usually for the worse. You don't get it. When I talk to her, I'm scared. There's something... something in her. Sh shit, I, I can't describe it. It's fine. I'm not the one you owe an explanation. No, wait, wait, I'll pay you whatever you want. Just don't tell anybody. I am begging you. Sure, send me cred. Better be a lot. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> I get it. Transferring now. I'm out. And drink up. Bubbly's no good warm. Hello? V? What's up? Got some intel on Liam. And? 
Is it what I thought? Yeah, it looks that way. Caught him in the VIP room with some chick. Ordered champagne. And? What do they talk about? Can't say. Don't think they talked for long, though. Mm, it's not much, but it's enough. Telling Lizzie about Liam's true intentions leads to a much darker outcome for this quest. V, need your help. Same spot as last time. Don't make me wait. What is it? Hello? Lizzie? Shit. Lizzie, what in the... Fuck. Now I get the rush. V, I... I, I was angry. I, I, I pushed him. These fucking arms, these hands. Oh my god. You ever... Wake up in the middle of the night and not know who you were for a second? Shit. Or I mean, shreds. You ever feel like you weren't really you? I... That's how I feel all the time. Every moment. This emptiness, this helplessness. I stopped seeing, creating. Just now, I, I... I just wanted to break up with him, you know? Tell him I wanted him out of my life. But I... I don't even know how, when, I, I... You strangled him, Lizzie. Slowly. You crushed his spine. I... I was angry. I must have lost control. So Liam really did have a reason to be afraid of you. I didn't mean to, understand? I didn't mean to! Sure. Maybe. It's all the same to him, though. So, this is about the body, right? That's why you called? Yes, I... The media can't hear about this, got it? That would be... Oh. Huh? The world would eat it up. A tale of the temptation to control another's memory. A grim reminder that a person is merely a collection of bites that can be... Copied, reproduced, copied, reproduced. Lizzie, snap the fuck out of it. What about the body? I don't know. Do whatever. Take it somewhere. Burn it. I'll pay you. No, not doing it. Something's... Something's not right, Lizzie. No, quite the contrary. Everything's finally falling into place. Go, V, and shut the door.